Hi, in this video what we are going to do is I'm going to model how to find a binomial probability using the TI-84 graphing calculator. For this example, what we are going to do is we're going to use the shortcut in the TI-84. I will do another video that models using the formula, um, but for this, for time's sake, I am going to show you how to get it done the quickest way possible in the TI-84. So for this problem, we have 62% of likely U.S. voters feel it is important to reduce the cost of health care. Um, this was found from Russ Rasmussen reports in March of 2017. Okay, nine U.S. voters are randomly selected. We are going to find the probability that the number who respond that they feel it is important to reduce the cost of health care are the following. The first one that we are going to find is the probability that exactly six of the nine are going to respond that um, they feel that it is important to reduce the cost of health care. This is binomial because either they do feel it is important or they don't, so there's only two outcomes. Um, if they feel it is important, that would be a success. If they don't feel it is important, that would be a failure. We have a fixed number of trials because we have exactly nine people that we are going to be asking from. And the probability of success remains constant throughout. Okay, so in this, the important information that you need to find any of the probabilities is you need to find the number of people selected. So in this case, we would say that n is going to be 9. And we need to know the probability of success. If you are using the formula, you must also know the probability of failure. But like I said, we're going to use the shortcut in the TI-84 graphing calculator. So the two things that we have to know are n equals 9, the number that we are um, sampling from, and what is the probability of success. So based on this information, the first one that we are going to find is we're finding the probability that x equals 6. Since it says exactly 6, we would have the probability that x equals 6. For this one, because it's exactly, what we are going to do is we are going to find binome PDF. This is a probability distribution, so we're only looking at the um, a single individual outcome, so this is a PDF and not a CDF. If you were looking for a cumulative, then you use CDF. So we would use binome PDF, we would use N, comma, P, comma, X. So in this case, N is 9, P is 0.62, and X is 6. So this is what we are going to plug into our calculator. To get this, what we are going to do is we're going to hit the second and the VARS button. Above it, it says distributions. This is where all of the probability distributions are. So what I would do is I would go through and I would scroll until I find binome PDF. In this case, it happens to be A. Some calculators may be different because there are some missing in the um, TI-83 graphing calculators and some of the older TI-84. So in my calculator, it's option A. Just scroll through until you find binome PDF and hit enter. If this screen does not pop up, you would enter it into your calculator exactly how it's written down right here, 9, 0 0.62, 6. The comma button is right above the 7. Since this screen shows up, I just fill it in. The number of trials is the number of people that we are asking, so in this case that would be 9. The probability of success is 0.62. And the x value is 6 because we're looking for exactly 6. We would then hit paste. And we have, notice my calculator says exactly what I wrote down. So in this case, we would end up with approximately 0.2618. So if we put this in word form, which is always important to do, we could say that there is a twenty six point one eight percent probability. that exactly six respond health care costs need to be reduced. Okay. 
Okay. So every time that you are finding probabilities, it is important to put it in a real world setting. So writing it in sentence form is important. I am doing it for the first one just to model for the rest of them to save time. I am just going to find the probabilities, but you would just fill in the sentence the exact same way. So there is a whatever probability you find that whatever the situation is. So you would just rewrite it in this format. So the next one that we want to look at is at most five. In this case, because it's more than one thing, exactly just means one single individual outcome. So that's a probability density function. For this one, because we want it to be at most five, it's telling us that we want it to be less than or equal to five. So because we are really looking for, if I were to write this out, this is really the probability of exactly zero plus the probability of exactly one plus the probability of exactly two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four plus the probability of five. So if you wanted to, and the reason that I stopped at five is because this includes, at most five includes five. So you could individually go through and find each of the binomial PDFs for zero, one, two, three, four, five, and just do what we just did. Or there's a shortcut where we can do the binome CDF. This is the cumulative distribution function. And for this, you would fill in the same exact things that we did before. So we would do binome CDF, and we would put in our n, which is 9, our probability, which is 0.62, and because the 5 is included, we would go ahead and put the 5 in there as well. Okay, so for this, we would do the same thing as finding the binome PDF. We would do second distributions. And we would scroll up until we found binome CDF. For this one, the trials are still 9. The probability of success is 0.62. And the x value in this case is 5. So like I said, what your calculator is doing is instantly it's going through and finding the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4 plus the probability of 5. And it's automatically giving you that answer. Okay, so the probability that at most 5 respond that um, health care costs needs to be reduced is approximately 0.4669 or 46.669%. Okay, for the next case, it says more than four. In the TI-84, it always goes, um, it always starts with zero and adds zero plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So for this one, because we want more than four, so since more than four means x is greater than four, that means it does not include four, okay? That means that we really want the probability of five plus the probability of six plus the probability of seven plus the probability of eight, plus the probability of nine. And again, this is very time consuming. So what we can do is we can use the complement rule. Since the calculator starts with zero and sums everything below this, what we would do is one minus binome CDF. Again, we want the cumulative information, so we want it to add it together. And for this one, what we would do is we would take our n is still 9, our probability of success is still 0.62, and we would go to one less than the ones that we want to add together. So we want to subtract everything out below. So we want to subtract out the sum of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we would stop it at 4. So our calculator, when we say to stop here at 4, it sums everything from 0 up until 4. So we would plug this into our calculator by doing second distribution. Again, we would go through, and you can always grab this. I'll show you a shortcut on the next two. 
Um, and I forgot to put it in. I will put it in in just a second. I'll show you how to enter it in. So we want to change this to four. I forgot to do the one minus part in front of this. So what I would do is if you forget to put something in, normally if I type the one, it's going to replace the information that's there. So if you hit the second and the delete button, it inserts a value in so I can insert the one minus binome CDF. And now if I hit enter, it will give me the answer and I get approximately 0.7738 if I round it. So, or approximately 77.38%. Okay, um, less than seven is going to be very similar to this one that we did, but this time it does not include the seven. Um, because it's less than, since we're looking for the probability that X is less than seven, we're really just finding the sum of the probability of zero all the way up through the probability of six. So what I'm really doing is finding the probability that X equals zero plus the probability of that X equals one plus dot, 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 all the way up through the probability that X equals six, because that's everything that is less than seven. So again, we're going to use the binome CDF. Okay, um, nine is our N. We still use the same 0.62, and this time we're gonna stop at six is where we wanna find the sum through. So we wanna find it from zero through six. So what we can do, which is much faster than going back through the distribution, since we just use binome CDF, I can arrow up until I get to it, and I can hit enter, and it will automatically bring it back down here. And then I can just change the five to a six. So instead of having to go through everything, I can just do that. And then I end up with approximately 0.7287 or 72.87%. So if I was putting this in um, sentence form, I would say something like the probability that less than seven respond, um, that they feel that the cost of healthcare should be reduced is 72.87%. Okay, the last situation is at least four. So the last situation that could happen is at least four and the way that this one is done is at least means um, greater than or equal to four so again with this this would be the sum of four five six seven eight and nine so because it's a greater than we would do the same thing that we did up here with the greater than four but this time it equals the four so we want to go one less than the four. So we want to use the binome CDF, nine comma point six two. And we want to go one less than there because we want to just exclude the zero, one, two, and three. So again, if we wanted to, instead of plugging it back in on the whole thing, we can just up arrow and grab that and then just change the four to a three and hit enter. And we end up with the probability that X is at least four is approximately 0 0.9213. For this, like I said, I the intention of this video was to show you the shortcut in the TI-84 graphing calculator. It was not to show you the entire formula. Um, I will do a video on showing out the work in case you do need to know how to use the formula. As always, I hope that this helped you to understand how to find this, and thanks for watching.